auto engineers come up with all the cool stuff we use every day. It's probably no surprise that they use a process, the engineering design process. The engineering design process is a series of steps that engineers use to guide the development of products and processes that improve our lives. This process is iterative, meaning they'll cycle through it multiple times, and failure is part of it. It's called productive failure, meaning engineers test, fail, and design over and over until they find the best possible solution. Engineers learn from failure and apply what they learn to their redesigns. Along the way, engineers document their design iterations, keep sketches of their ideas, and record measurements and calculations to keep track of each design. And they're always aware that there can be multiple solutions. Here's the engineering design process step by step. Step 1. Identify the problem. Your team must first understand the problem and why it's important to develop a solution. Identifying the criteria in the design challenge and considering any constraints is key to a successful solution. Step 2. Research the problem. Next, it's time to think about possible solutions and the needs of the people who'll be using the solutions. Research existing solutions and learn from experts who may be able to provide insight. Step 3. Develop possible solutions. Understanding that there may be many good solutions. Brainstorm with your team. Not every solution has to be realistic at this point, so don't limit yourself. Use your imagination, be creative, and put every idea down. Step 4. Select the best possible solution. As a team, select the most promising solution that meets the criteria and constraints, and sketch your design. Step 5. Construct prototype. Design a prototype, a working model of your solution. You may need to design more than one if the prototype fails during testing. That's okay. With each prototype, learn from your failures and repeat earlier steps in the design process. Step 6. Test and evaluate solution. Test your prototype, collect and analyze data, and document your design strengths and weaknesses. Step 7. Redesign. Based on the results of your testing, make improvements and identify the changes you're making. The design process involves multiple iterations and redesigns. You'll likely test your solution, find new problems, make changes, and test new solutions before settling on a final design. Remember, communication within your team is important. It takes a team of engineers to solve problems. Every idea should be heard as you work together to develop the best solution. Finally, present your final solution to the class, demonstrating how you solve the problem. Share what you liked best about your solution, problems you encountered, and what you learned throughout the process. Celebrate the fact that you use the engineering design process to design a solution.